hey everybody welcome back to another video of this course and in this video we'll be creating our second project so uh, in this project we'll be implementing everything that we have learned so far in this course so uh, let's try to understand the overall problem statement and what we are trying to build and then you can try try it out by yourself and see what you got so let's try to understand the problem statement first so first of all uh, we'll have a class called mobile the mobile that that we use so uh, this mobile will have few properties here that is the screen size uh, the company name okay screen size is an integer value company name is the string value that we have operating system either it is android ios windows and whatnot there is the operating system again uh, the integer value sorry the string value data type and then battery percentage this is something new here and it is of type integer initially the battery is 100 percent also uh, one more thing you need to uh, note that while creating the instance of mobile or while creating the object of mobile only these three properties should be there that is screen size company name and operating system i just want these three in the constructor battery shouldn't be in the constructor or in short we don't need battery for constructor what we need to do is we need to set it 100 percent as we create any object of uh, you know mobile class so this is all about the properties or fields that we have now let's look at the methods uh, that we'll be having in this um, in this course sorry in this project okay methods will be again uh, we'll have getters and setters so very straightforward in the last video we have discussed what are getters and setters and how we create them and the next method that we have is a method called take picture now what this method will do this method will simply reduce the battery by 100 percent that's just the whole point of this method this method is called uh, we'll just have a print statement that okay picture is taken and battery will be reduced by 10 percent so that's uh, i hope that's clear and then the next uh, method that we have here is record video so again record video is a method that will simply print that video is recorded and it will reduce the battery by 30 percent so taking picture will reduce the battery by 10 percent uh, record video will reduce the battery by 30 percent and then the next method that we have is play mobile game so when this method is called a simple print statement that mobile game is being played and then it will reduce the battery by 60 percent so let's say if the battery is at 100 percent capacity then uh, if this method is being called then battery will be reduced by 60 percent so the current battery should be 40 percent so whatever the battery life it is it will reduce it by 60 percent that's the method called play mobile game and then we have uh, another method called charge method so okay it is actually battery charge which will simply do a print statement that a battery is fully charged and it will set the battery to 100 percent very straightforward charge method is called a battery is set to 100 percent and the final call that we have here is at any point you have to check that battery shouldn't go less than zero if at any point if battery is zero or less than zero then you simply have to do a print statement that battery is dead so that's all about the problem statement um, i must suggest you go through the problem statement once again if you missed anything and try it out by yourself you have everything that you need to proceed with this project so give it a shot and and you should pause this video now and try it by yourself and then come back and see my solution so uh, let's start with creating a new project so press on this new project button name of the project so i'll call it mobile application and 
simply press on this create button so the project is being created for us now the first thing that we have to do is we have to create the class called mobile so for that uh, simply go to the src right click on it go to new and here we have java class click on this now name of the class is mobile okay so uh, it have it had uh, the properties that it had was let me just revise screen size company name operating system okay these three properties screen size company name operating system we are not using uh, any of them but just to have uh, you know in mobile we have these uh, fields or properties what we are mainly using is the battery percent so we got screen size company name operating system and battery percentage so private integer screen size and then private okay uh, company name string private string company name and then the operating system now finally the battery which is an integer battery percent now let's have constructor so uh, i'll be using inbuilt method of having constructor so right click go to generate constructor and as i've mentioned that we don't want battery percent in our constructor so we just need screen size company name and operating system also let's have uh, our naming convention so instead of using this uh, let's have different variable name so for whatever we have in constructor let's have underscore here like now we can remove this and let's add underscore here here and here so you need screen size company name and operating system in order to initialize the mobile but at the same time we want to set the battery percent to 100 so here uh, we are not setting the battery percentage from the constructor or the parameter of the constructor we are just setting it to 100 every time as we instantiate the mobile class so we have constructor now uh, let's have getters and setters i am using intellij idea feature of getters and setters uh, but you try to write it out from scratch if not then again you can use it as well so right click um, generate and i want getters and setters so for all of them simply press ok so here we have getters and setters for everything just one thing that i don't want is i don't want setter for battery percentage because we are going to have a separate method called charge which will simply set our battery to 100 percent so we don't need a setter for this battery percent you know field so you simply remove that so we are done with getters and setters now let's see what is the next that we have so the next is uh, there is a method called take picture that will reduce the battery by 10 percent so let's have it okay let me just create some space okay we got public take okay the return type return type is void and then take picture now what this method does this method first of all simply returns that a picture is taken also it will reduce the battery percent so battery percent is equal to battery percent minus 10 because it will reduce the battery by 10 percent so in short uh, what we can write is battery percent minus equal 10 so it will subtract 10 from this particular value but again 
here we need to check that the battery is if the phone is even charged or not we need to check the battery percentage and if that battery per percentage is less than or equal to zero we need to print that okay the phone is dead you need to charge it if battery percent is less than equal to zero in that case what you need to do is you need to simply print that battery is dead plug charger or whatever and in the else part what you need to do you need to if we are in the else block that then that means we have some battery okay one small change here is that this instead of checking that battery percentage is less than equal to zero we need to check that if battery percent is less than 10 if the battery percent is less than 10 then in that case we couldn't take picture because picture taking picture needs 10 percent of the battery also let's change the print statement here so print statement will be uh, cannot take picture battery is not sufficient battery is not sufficient also uh, yeah and in the else block picture is taken this is the method called take picture let's have another method uh, that is take video or record video record video and here again we need to check that if battery percent is less than 30 30 is i guess it is what needed to take to record video so yeah it is 30 so if it is less than 30 in that case you simply print can okay let's just copy this so cannot record video battery is not sufficient and in the else block else block is that okay we have battery in that case we'll print that video is recorded and we will uh, reduce the battery so battery minus equals 30 so we updated our new battery percentage and then finally uh, we have another method called we want to play game so which is very similar to this method record video so i can copy this and paste it here it will be called play game here we need to check that if the battery is less than 60 then cannot play game cannot play game but is not sufficient and in the else block we'll say playing video game and battery will be reduced by 60 okay this is the thing for play game and then we have our final method and that is charge phone so public void let's simply call charge and what it does it will simply set the battery percent to 100 and will it will print that phone is okay battery is charged 100 percent okay so here we have all uh, methods that we need so back to main.java and let's uh, instantiate our mobile class so val sorry mobile uh, let's call it my mobile this is equals to new mobile and here we need to pass the screen size let's say the screen size is six inches company name uh, let's call it apple and then the operating system here we got ios so we have instantiated the mobile class now let's try to you know get the battery percentage because by default it should be 100 so my mobile dot get battery percent 
now if you run this okay it doesn't prints anything because it will just it just returns a value it doesn't prints that so for that we need to wrap this up in a print statement like this now if i run this again so 100 the value of the battery right now is 100 now uh, let's uh, let's do something with my mobile so my mobile dot let's uh, just take a picture and then after that let's call this print statement that is get battery percentage so ideally it should return 90 so let's see what happens okay so here it says picture is taken and the battery that we have here is 90 so this is working fine now uh, let's also record a video so my, my mobile dot record video now if i run this okay here it says picture is taken video is recorded and then 60 is the current um, you know percent of battery now uh, let's do my mobile dot uh, play game and let's run this again okay so picture is taken picture is taken video is recorded playing video game now zero zero is the current percentage of battery now if i call take picture method again so my mobile dot take picture now what should happen let's print this and it says uh, cannot take picture battery is not sufficient and again zero is the percentage of battery now what could have been done is instead of taking picture let's call my mobile dot uh, charge now what should happen let's uh, let's run this okay so we have these three print statement then battery is charged 100 percent and then 100 is the current you know battery percent so this is how it is happening so this is working fine and then here we have a bunch of getters and setters so instead of printing just a mobile percentage you can print get operating system and if you run this you will have ios is the uh, operating system and if you want to get company name again run this here you got the company name and let's say if you want to uh, set the company name so my mobile dot set company name let's uh, set it to samsung and if you just run this again so here you can see we got samsung so yeah that's all about this project so in this video we have created a very simple application that covers up almost everything that we have learned so far in this video so i hope everything makes sense to you yeah that's all what i have for you in this video and hope to see you in the next video